Well, next we want to turn our attention to one local lady from Williamsville who is working to bring people that may not see eye to eye together, one rock at a time. St. John Fisher senior Alexa Zappia created the inspirational program Rocks of Unity. Now the goal is to bring people together by decorating rocks that express their heritage and identity. Now you may recognize her from appearing on AM Buffalo in the past, but now she is being recognized nationally. Check out this clip from Harry Connick Jr.'s daytime talk show. I love this show because I get to meet influential, amazing women every day. And today we have an incredible young leading lady with us. She started a project called Rocks of Unity, where she works with children to decorate rocks that represent their unique identities and celebrate our differences. I'm going to repeat that last phrase, celebrate our differences, which is a very important thing to do. Please welcome today's leading lady, Alexa, to the show. Hi. So nice to see you. So, nice tell us about Rocks of Unity. How does it work? Rocks of Unity is an initiative that I started um, where I bring people together. We discuss our differences instead of hiding them. We bring them out and we discuss our differences and then we make an art installation where we decorate our differences on rocks and then they're visually in a community center forever. That's terrific. Now, may I ask how old you are? I just turned 21 three days ago. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Congratulations. you. Thank so, you. I would, I would ask you how you, uh, how you celebrated, but you probably don't want your parents to know. No, how you... they were there. They were oh, there. <laughs> don't worry. It's oh, I'm fun. just kidding you. Now, what, what made you decide to start this organization? Um, I was very close with a woman by the name of Susan, and she, I look up to her as a mentor figure. And she unexpectedly um, passed away when I was 12 years old. And she was all about going into different communities and working with coexistence of communities who may have not have the chance to work together naturally. And I wanted to carry on her legacy and go into different communities that she could not have obviously been to because she passed away. And I just noticed that there's been a lot of intolerance in the world because of our differences. So I wanted to be able to mesh the two together and hopefully make her proud and do something that will change the world forever. Well, I think it's a great idea. Now, Thank you. did some of the rocks stand out to you over the time you've done this? Yes. So one student, and I love this story. This is a story that I tell all the time. One little boy came to me at the first school that I, I started at, and he came to me with a $100 bill on his rock. I was like, <laughs> OK. <laughs> like, what does this have to do with anything? And he said, well, I can decorate it based on my values, right? And I was like, yeah. And he said, well, I understand that I have a lot of toys, but there are also kids who don't have what I have. So if I meet kids that are like that, I would give them my rock because it's worth $100, and they can buy toys that they want to buy so that they're happy. And there's another story where a girl, I was doing something very similar in a classroom, and on her rock, she wrote, um, I may be bigger, but it doesn't mean I matter any less. Oh, that's and beautiful. what happened is she was always bullied because she was overweight, and she never was able to tell people exactly how she was feeling. But when we came together and we discussed our differences, Rocks of Unity was finally her voice. Boy, that's terrific. Isn't that a great story? I love hearing that. <laughs> now, we have a little surprise for you. I want you to take a look at this. Hi, my name is Eleanor Martins. I'm Jack. My name is Jonah. I'm Emily. What Rocks of Unity taught me is that differences don't divide us, they unite us. But even though that we are different, we put all of our differences together to give us strength and confidence. What kindness means to me is treat others how you want to be treated. Thank you, Alexa, for loving me and caring for me. And I also thank you for being a very, very good friend. Thank you, Alexa, for taking good care of me. I love you, Alexa. Thank you so much, Alexa, because you've inspired me, and I think you've inspired so many other people. Do we have a, you want a Kleenex? No, I'm OK. I need a brightness. What do you mean? We have, we have some. I think we have. Let's, let's, wow. let's get you some Kleenex, too. That about make me ugly cry up here. That, um... <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure. I did not know, but that was so inspirational. Thank you. Sure. And those kids mean the world to me. They're adorable kids. <laughs> uh, t tell us how big this program has gotten. So I started in January of 2017, 
And I thought I was going to start at one school, and that was it. Yeah, OK, joke's on me. Yeah, that did not happen. Now, thousands and thousands of people are doing it all over the country. Um, I am actually now on social media, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram on, under Rocks of Unity. And I post a daily dose of kindness every day. And I tag a lot of people in it. You're one of them. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're one of them. Um, and just to spread kindness throughout the world as a, to start your day. And then I'm also working with celebrities now. So. Have you met anybody who was starstruck? Yes, a ton. Um, Teresa Caputo, the Long Island Medium. Sure. I love her. She's a huge Rocks of Unity supporter. Um, David Boreanis from Bones. Yeah, of course. Um, so he made rocks as well. And I basically I put their celebrity rocks in a normal community garden because I think those are values that you know, it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity, if you have status, if you don't. Those are human values, kindness and acceptance and unity. Those are all human values, sure. so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So Absolutely. hopefully you'll do one too. What if I made a rock? Would, you put, would I be able to go up against those big time stars? I would love for you to do a rock. You, you put me in the garden? Yeah, I would love. Well, I have a little something for you. This is my rock for you. I'm not an artist. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But, but this, this is musical notes because that's what I do. I love music. Oh my and music goodness. makes people happy. And you make people happy with the rock. So whatever you want to do with that, if you sell it on eBay, just give me a cut. Um, <laughs> but this is my rock for you. And everyone in the audience made a rock for you, too. Can you show, every, can you show your rocks? You see what you did? That's pretty impressive, right? Oh, my God. Alexa, thank you for being here. We really appreciate you coming today. Thank you. And coming up, I'm going to be cooking with some very impressive young chefs. We'll be right back. Now, isn't that awesome? One local lady making a difference and making us proud. Linda and I are going to have to make a rock for Alexa. So go, Alexa. Now, for more details to this segment, check out harrytv.com. And we'll be back right after the break.